Lava Scout adds a full text search for your eloquent models through multiple drivers. Next to Mighty Search, Algolia, and the database driver, you can now use a new driver, which is TypeSense. Here's how it works. I'm here at Lava Scout documentation page, and we're going to start by installing Scout into one of our Lava applications. And we're starting by requiring it through Composer. Let's do this together here. All right, let's already see what's next. We need to publish the config file. Let's do this as well here. All right, we're going to need this later. Then we need to add the searchable trait to the model that we want to add our search to. In my case, this is my recipe model here, and we should already see now the searchable trait. Here it is, level scout searchable. All right, what's next? Queuing is not so interesting to us right now. So we're skipping this and we're going right to the TypeSense documentation here, which is here. So TypeSense is a lightning fast open source search engine and supports keyword search, semantic search, geo search, and vector search. So it comes with a lot of cool features and you can self-host it or can use the cloud. I have self-hosted it on my Mac. There are a couple of options um, for how to do this, but just for showing what it looked like, in my case here, I started here after installing a new TypeSense server. All right, now we need a PHP SDK for TypeSense. Let's bring this in here as well. All right, and we need some environment variables here. You can copy them, but I have already prepared them here in my application. Here, let's bring them in. So the Scout driver is now TypeSense. The API key is what you set when you start a new TypeSense server, then you need to define its API key. In my case, it's XYZ. I think that's also the default value and we're using it through localhost. All right, those additional ones we don't need. And I think we're already here at the part where we need to prepare our data for TypeSense. So first we're going to need this two searchable array, which you need for all of our Scout drivers but let's copy this one to our recipe model. Let's bring this in here. Here we go, let's add a return type. And what we're doing here is we're merging the data from our recipe model with the ID, which is a string, and the created ad, which is a timestamp. So these are two fields which are required by TypeSense, so this is why we need to merge them into our data from our recipes. All right, what's next? Yeah, next we need to check out our config scout file. So let's take a look at this here together. So here we have our scout config file. So there are a lot of things that you can check out, but we are interested in TypeSense. So here we have TypeSense configuration. And here most important to us is, let's go down here, the model settings. So you can see here example for every model that we want to support, we need to define a collection schema and the fields, and then what are the names, like ID, what is the type, string, and so on. I have already prepared this for our recipes, so let's bring this in now together. Here we go, so let's take a look. Yeah, so again, we are talking about recipes in this example, so maybe let's also take a look at the database here in PHP Storm. So we have 30 examples of recipes, classic pizza margarita with some ingredients, difficulty, and the quiz in whatever that is. So these are our examples for this demo here. So this means here we also need to define the fields that we want to support. So for example, the name ID is a string. Then we have the name name, which is a string. We have the difficulty, which is a string. Cuisine is a string and ingredients, which is an array of strings. And then we also have created at. And then down here, we also have to define our search parameters. So what terms are we searching for? In our case, we start by just searching for the name field, which again, in our case, is the name of our recipes. All right, let's take another look. Yeah, also important here, if you make any changes and want to delete data, you can do this with Scout Flash. And if you want to re-import, you can do this with Scout Import. Scout also works with Observer, so this means whenever you create a new recipe in this example, it will already be imported to TypeSense or to the other drivers. But yeah, at the beginning, you need to import this via the Scout Import. Let's try this together. Scout Import, and then you need to provide the model name. Looks like this is working. We have 30 records which were imported, which is perfect. 
And now I think it's a good idea to give this a try. And we're going to do this here in Tinkerwell. First, let's see if we get all of our recipes. You can see this works and we get them here, but now we want to search for them. And through Level Scout, we have now this search method which we can use. And now let's search maybe for pizza and then get the results. And let's also get back an array. And here we go, we have our classic margarita pizza. This works nicely. Let's try something else. Maybe let's go for pasta. Everybody loves some good pasta. Shrimp scampi pasta, chicken alfredo pasta. Amazing, this works as well. But maybe we want to look for something else. Maybe we want to look now for ingredients here. So let's try this out as well. We just need to add to query by here also ingredients. Ingredients. Let's search for sugar. And we do have some results here. Italian tiramisu. Let's check it. Ingredients. Yes, here sugar. What else? Thai green curry. What's in there? It's sugar. Something else here. Yeah, butter chicken. And of course, what's in there is sugar as well. And maybe one more thing. Let's also look for cuisine. And now we're searching for Italian. Here we go, we get the Italian tiramisu, where Italian is in the name, and I'm pretty sure it's also the cuisine, yeah, but now we also have here, for example, the pasta, where Italian is only in the cuisine, so this seems to be working as well. Pretty cool. There is much more that you can learn from TypeSense and Scout, so please make sure to check out the official documentation for TypeSense and for Scout as well. But I hope you now have a good understanding of how you can use TypeSense with Scout. It's really great to have another open source option for Scout. A big thanks to the TypeSense team and have fun with the new Scout driver. Happy searching. Bye.